main landing gear connected now. I drilled and bolted up the forward struts, landing gear struts, which are hinged at the landing gear and at the fuselage via this uh, ball rod end. Okay, and you want to make sure when you're putting your gear on that the U brackets, as you can see, I can turn that bracket. And the same thing for this bracket up here. You, gotta, you have to be able to turn this bracket in order to get the proper installation on the landing gear struts. We have another bolt up here going through which uh, locks the position of the center. And then of course the strut is attached, the landing gear uh, main strut is attached to this weldment which is bolted onto the fuselage. You have a nested pair of clamps and this will be held together eventually by a bungee cord which we have not yet tightened up but as you can see it does allow for some flexing up and down in the landing gear and I also have mounted the disc brakes and the wheel hub eventually the wheel will attach there there is a plate here which is currently loose and uh, I'll have to get that lined up let's see if I can find that come on <laughs> there we go now it's locked in there so here's where our brake line will be coming in from the cockpit levers and this is a bleeder uh, valve here's the central hub and as you can see as I turn the hub the brake pad will rotate with it now when you do pull the brake handles that will of course put pressure on the calipers and will stop uh, push the uh, brake linings up against that rotor and then stop the wheel from turning so again the important thing remember on these U brackets they have to be free to turn and give freedom uh, for this ball right in to do its job as well as up here on the top at the fuselage mount you want to be able to turn this see that will turn and uh, that gives freedom for the ball rod end as you can see to do its thing there we go and let's see what else did we get done well I got the elevator control tubes hooked up and you can see that those are in those that's a temporary installation for right now I did not put the cotter pins in because when I go to cover the airframe that will of course be taken off during the covering process next step on the agenda is to get the nut plates installed on here so I will be uh, making a video specifically on the installation of the nut plates let's see here is my instrument panel Again, it's the hinge type. I have a hinge at the bottom there, so it can fold down for maintenance. And then this strip down here is where my circuit breakers and switches will go. So that's about it. I did get a extra thick foam from my mother's estate. Uh, Mom had apparently bought it for something nobody could figure out what for. So. Uh, her husband Cecil, my stepfather, made a Christmas present of it for me and I went ahead and cut it out and fit it into the seat so I got a little extra thick padding there for those long distance cross country flights. And that's about it. Got the main landing gear on. Next step we get the nose gear on. We get the wheels on the hubs and uh, get this thing down off of this uh, table and mounted position down onto the floor so I can get busy working on the engine mounts and the aileron rods. Yeah, that's it for today.